Use this play in the red zone to get easy touchdowns and two-point conversions. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, you know my channel. Make sure you subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So once again, I am back in the Jets gun uh, uh, play, playbook. Um, and I have a formation that is, uh, and a particular play that's really, really good down in the red zone. It is an empty set, so uh, you want to get rid of the ball for the quick, make fast decisions. But most people, most good Madden players, don't do a lot of heavy man blitzing, a lot of blitzing down in the red zone, uh, especially when you're inside like 10 yards or so. They really flood the zone and they make you make plays. What's good about this particular play is that it, it will break uh, down holes in the defense if you, if you use a lot of like zone coverages and stuff like that and allow you to go ahead and attack attack your opponent and get easy touchdowns so it is out of the gun uh, gun empty tray stack uh, stack plays uh, stack formations are particularly good down in the red zone or when you need a first down with small yardage because of the way the stacks play off of each other and this plays fade out and I have a couple quick adjustments and we go from there so once again the play is fade out and we're going to go ahead and just run against random defenses. We're going to use the 44 split, which is probably a, a defense you'll see a lot um, in the red zone. So uh, basically, what's cool about this particular play is that uh, you have the stack uh, concept off the left-hand side. And a lot of times, that route, that stack route in the, uh, that's below the slot receiver, uh, he'll actually get a free release and get a free lane into the red zone. Now, this play is designed, if you take a look at the depth of the, red receiver, or the wide receiver with the red uh, marking, uh, he actually goes up about 10 yards or so, uh, 12 yards and cuts in. So he will beat his guy man coverage, but you really want to have a little bit further back. So right now I've got the ball on a six yard line in between the, the five and six yard line. Uh, one of the adjustments I like to do too is I like to open up the back side so if my opponent really starts hovering over the left side, um, I'm going to basically have an, a, a, a way to attack my opponent on the back side. So I'm going to take my inside receiver, which is my other tight end. I'm going to go ahead and put him on an on a out route. And I'm going to go ahead and take my other receiver and put him on a slant route. And that should pretty much open things up. So what's cool about this play is this route right here. This route will allow you to go ahead and get an easy completion because what happens is this guy... Uh, a lot of times zone coverage is going to pull out with this guy and this defender that's going to play the middle zone is going to play in the middle of the field, leaving this passing lane wide open for an easy completion. So, And you're getting rid of the ball so fast that your opponent's really not going to react to it. So you can come out of this formation down to the red zone and actually attack him with a fast completion and get a fast touchdown. And then he'll remember that and go, okay, this is his touchdown play. I'm going to go ahead and try to take that away. So he's most going to be look, looking over to the other wide receiver, which uh, on the left side is going to be white side. And this is why we set up uh, the back side uh, with the out and the slant route, and then and obviously the fly route. Because what's going to happen is one of these particular routes is going to get open on the back side. So what I've discovered is that because when you have a little out route and then you have a slant route on the back side, a lot of times what happens is that this route right here at the back of the end zone will be wide open for an easy completion. So if he's using this guy over here, he's trying to take away this quick read and he's, he's concentrating this, this guy over here, you've got these two guys clearing out the zones, leaving this back side, uh, this back end of the end zone, away from his user, wide open for another touchdown. Now this play is less effective if you are at, if you're basically 10 yards out uh, because basically that that route right here is not going to get the depth you need to get into the red zone. So uh, you want to try to use this play, I would say probably between um, inside the 10 yard to up to the, uh, the second down marker. Anything closer than that is probably not going to be as effective. But here's your uh, a man beater. If you got a guy who uses a lot of man blitzes, you can go and hit him with that. So guys, if you do like this type of tip, Make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive uh, and defensive tips um, on my channel, and I'm going to be having a full Jets uh, ebook breakdown, probably about seven different formations you guys can take a look at, and I'll be showing you gameplay uh, moving on for the rest of this month. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.